you would thought that I set a bomb off like hey y'all so real quick I did want to come up here and do just a small life update it's been a lot of things happening it's been a lot of transits moving it's been a lot of lessons that have been learned a lot of cycles karmic cycles that have been closed saturn right when we think about saturn this is the planet of rebirth this is a planet of a lot of times death may come around with this planet saturn retrograde is really a time for karmic debts to be filled karmic debts to be dealt right so whether it's a karmic cycle with a friend or a karmic cycle with a relationship a partner um, even with your job, right? Like in environments that you're in. So this time that I'm in right now has been a lot, especially when dealing with sensual energy. And that's something that I did want to talk about because FYI, when you become very strong and very rooted in who you are as a person, that can be offensive to individuals who may not understand what exactly their truth is right so i did want to talk a little bit about this recent altercation this recent challenge and that is in the light of quote unquote sisterhood so when we start maneuvering through sensual energy sensual energy is a very intimate energy it's a very vulnerable energy although you are working on your sensual energy doing the work for your sacral you may notice that you can become triggering to other people how do i know people may become angry around you people may become offended around you uh this is a very strong potent energy as the sun comes out it's so beautiful this is a energy that is needed to be used with divine meticulous awareness what do i mean when you utilize this energy no one understands that spirit is going to show you so when you begin to work on this certain area because when we talk about sensual energy we're talking about the sacral chakra which is what joy for self pleasure for self so when you have the ability to please self, this may be triggering to other people who may not know how to do the same. As you all know, I was in a group titled Passion Place Charlotte, maneuvering through this last path with this sensual energy. I wanted to do something as far as the women. So you all know how we have the sacred women groups, right? In Passion Place. The one that we most recently had was yoga focused. I wanted to do a similar idea in the light of sensual yoga and this is where it started to show me where other people may have anxieties other people may have insecurities that then get projected onto you to belittle your power a place curated to showcase the many talents okay for me Pole dancing, sensual art, that is a talent. Just as our ancestors maneuvered through sensual energy, they knew sensuality as a multi-dimensional aspect. However, now that we're maneuvering in this world, this current day world, sensuality is listed as very one-dimensional. It's seen period six, that's it, that's it. You're not gonna be able to teach other people who don't want to be taught. Tantric is pretty, if you ever listen to Bobby Hemmings or any, you know, divine teacher, divine guide that talks about sensuality, that talks about Tantric, that is pretty much like, I don't want to say the last level, but it's a big ass level of shadow work. Because to be comfortable with yourself and then say as far as to be comfortable with yourself around other women, it's a lot of shit that comes up. We as women are very emotional beings. So I knew having this desire to teach sensual energy to other women would of course, you know, have a little bit of challenges. It's not always easy talking about sensual energy because already people just see it as sex. Immediately when you talk about a pole, it's seen as sex versus a divine being, a divine sensual being who is intact with the sensual energy, who then knows how to please self to then teach other women how to heal themselves, how to please themselves, how to even attract the divine partner. See, this is what I wanted to do, right? I wanted to open this new aspect of the divine feminine because oftentimes when we talk about the divine feminine and i talked about it on one of my recent lives i had with sensual by selena is that you are literally quite literally having the ability 
not only to connect to the womb space, right? Having the ability to recode the whole energetic imprint through your magic, okay? This is something that has been demonized, unfortunately, and this is something that, you know, came up. They wanted to say, essentially, they didn't want their family and friends around it, but my thing is, a lot of our events are very sacred. Some events we even say, hey, no kids allowed. So for me, I was thinking this could be one of those events. So then what became the issue was, you know, I don't want this on Passion Place. I don't want Passion Place to become this sensual, sexual. My thing is, it's not just sex. <laughs> and I'm not gonna talk about it too much, but I just wanted to give you guys like information on what will happen when you do the work, okay? And a good friend of mine, like in one of her books, she talks about how either you're gonna be triggered by the work or you're gonna be triggered to do the work. So for me, being comfortable in myself it's like i'm seeing where it could be triggering to other people certain individuals may not have the frequency to hold this type of strong energy because it is a strong energy don't get me wrong that's why you have to use it with divine meticulous awareness but all in all i can honestly say i have had a beautiful time with passion place Although it has come to an end, you know, I now open space for all other opportunities with V10 and Gems, with these divine visions. I wish the best of luck, you know. I did try to call and speak to the founder, the other founders, you know, I'm only one third. I was one third of its other women who are involved, but I wanted to come to them and talk to them about the whole situation, but there was a lot of challenges. Um, I'll say it like that. But now that I know and now that I really crave this particular certain sisterhood, because for me, sisterhood, I want you to appreciate, oh, I'm an open space for you, just like I would want you to open space for me in all aspects that you do, in all, whether it's your talents, whether it's your food that you cook, whether it's the, the readings that you do, whatever it is, like I want to accept you fully as the being that you are, the sensual being that you are. So I knew that now more than ever, it is a push, it is a call to create safe spaces for people to explore and heal this aspect. They may feel a way about sensual energy because of the fact that, you know, we have sexual traumas. We have things like shame and guilt that are centered around sensual energy, especially when a black woman is comfortable in her sensuality it just sets the whole fucking room just to obliteration you would thought that i set a bomb off like it's crazy you know but being comfortable in who you are accepting yourself in and out the good and the bad because this new age has made it to where we're so far left everything is so far left Everything is just, um, especially when you think about the divine feminine, a lot of times we just talk about the softness. But by golly gee, what about the darkness? And dark as in a sense of mystery, not dark as in a sense of demonic, not dark as a sense of devilish, not dark, because we have been taught and conditioned. This is where we're having to also do the work as far as decolonizing the mind in all aspects of sensuality, of our plates, of our food, of the things that we drink, of the things that we do, the activities that we do. We have been so colonized that we forgot ancestral ways. They were doing sensuality in a community space. So when has sensuality become this individualized interpersonal relationship because of the white man? <laughs> and I'm here, you know, and a lot of us, you know, my, my good friend, Selena, which I'm, I'm curating this new space with called Sensual Flows. It is going to be a very powerful event. And I know that. And when you are working with a powerful, strong energy, there are going to be things that come up. There are going to be people that say what they say, but who, who are you to judge? That's my, my biggest thing is always, who am I to judge? Who, and don't get me wrong. I've been there. Like, look at my old videos. I've been there. I've been, you know, and that's why I want to be rooted in transparency and be real and authentic to say when I have fucked up. Because I know, like I used to talk about, you know, y'all can go see the videos where I did a video about the celebrities and all that sensual energies. When you don't understand, when you are ignorant to certain things, you will say whatever because you're not, you don't have that level of consciousness. 
but now that i understand fully wholeheartedly that sensual energy is our birthright sensual energy is going to give us the power that we need i get so many dms about womb healing pcos endometriosis certain people have endocrine system imbalance issues there are so many issues where it is always pointing back to the womb space because we have forgot the powers of sensuality but i'm not going to talk about it long i just want to give you guys a life update talk a little bit about sensual energy i do want to do some more content as far as you know the dancing that i do the yoga that i do so just let me know in the comments how you all feel check in with yourselves how are you feeling during these transits saturn retrograde we're about to have a full moon in capricorn just a lot of moving pieces okay a lot of things are being brought up so that way we can ground ourselves right we can pay attention to our emotions pay attention to how we're feeling where does your mind go when you're by yourself where does your thoughts go when you're by yourself okay so i did want to say i love you guys thank you so much for listening thank you for subscribing to my channel as always be sure to connect with these hidden gems on my instagram so if you are interested in the central flows event that we have coming up in july 15th definitely be sure to check out thesehiddengems.com where you will be able to actually register and purchase your ticket thank you guys so much i look forward to speaking to you all again have a beautiful day. Peace.